What is up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, with today's topic of interest looking into a line of grenade perks that, to this date, is hardly underused by the player base for any content in mind, big or small. And that is going to be the sticky grenade perk that is available for most grenade launchers in game. The one perk has been around since the beginning of Destiny 2, and its usage as a perk in game should be noticeable and viable to all in some way or form. And yet, when talking about using the perk, you'll either get a response of, don't bother, it's useless, or it has no place in game. And this is a common theme for a number of weapons and perks that Bungie has done, that generally needs a vast number of buffs to become viable. So today I want to look into why this perk exists, pros and cons to it, and what Bungie can potentially do to improve on this area. Now this topic will follow in the same way I did my talk on my flashbang concussion rounds video, and I will link that in for you, as you can go ahead and follow that as well, as they both do share a similar issue on fixes that Bungie can follow. Now there are two types of grenade launchers you need to be aware of. We have the breach loaders, which are single fire and only available in the primary to secondary slot. And then you have the heavy launchers, which can carry multiple in rounds, and have a much more extensive selection of perks to choose. As a heads up, breach loaders can't get the sticky launcher perk as an RNG roll, only the mounted top can get this. Whether this is intentional or not, it would have been wise for Bungie to add this in as a possible role for all launchers, not just for one. The Sticky Grenade perk shares the same slot as Spiked, Flashbang, Concussion Rounds, etc. And the general role to look out for is to have the Spiked Grenades first, if you plan to use them against certain tiered adds, and then Field Prep for more in reserves, and then last slot being whatever you think is best, while also focusing on improving the velocity of your weapon. Now, spikes are the most commonest perk many players will pick up simply for the 50% impact DPS boost, which goes a long way in endgame content. While flash and concussion are more designed for disrupting groups of enemies rather than DPS. And then you have the other three perks like proximity, alloy casing, high velocity rounds, etc. But then where does this place stickies in all of this, since spikes are known for their DPS and large amount of damage, and flash and concussion rounds are great for disrupting single to large groups. But stickies don't have a place in game as they lack both damage and blast radius. From what we are aware of, stickies have an effective blast radius of 1 to 1.5 meters for it to activate and kill a target, which puts it behind concussion and flash, who have around a max of 2 to 2.5 effective range. But only because of the stickies can only be stuck to services, while flash and concussion can bounce further. They can one shot upon impact depending on health of targets. And they also have a split damage value of impact and then blast, which can affect whether your shot will one shot or not. Now looking into this, we can see that Bungie wanted to follow it in the steps of flash and concussion rounds, to where it would have some sort of noticeable impact upon users, who strategically use it and would be rewarded when correctly coordinated. The issue here is that though the perk works when set up correctly, it doesn't have a lot of areas in game to where it can be properly used to its fullest. The current environments available are pretty much open and allows enemies to take a number of routes to avoid a singular area in PvE. And although some AI will charge at you, some can avoid this by dodging or simply sidestepping. In PvP, this can be easily avoided against a player who is aware of their surroundings, but at the same time can act as a great deterrent against groups of players who are charging in and not being cautious of certain areas and angles. From using the Berenger's memory grenade launcher with the perk, against PvE enemies, my damage was around the 10 to 11k, which is enough to one-shot red and most yellow health enemies, but compared to using a spike grenade launcher with that 50% impact damage, you can see why the overall perk isn't that tasteful. The issue we have with stickies is that the current environment for them is either limited or is lacking in doing anything noticeable, and this is probably why you never hear or see any other players use it. The only weapon that follows through with the design is the exotic Arnicky, which can stick on targets and do continuous damage over time, and why many will use it over anything else. This is what Bungie should be doing in terms of making the perk viable, by looking at how it can affect the environment for longer, and not simply by increasing its damage for say. The sticky perk is more of a meme to use in PvP, as you can use it to catch underwater players out, and to be frank, this is where the perk will succeed the most in because of selected map rotation, and player map knowledge. But this is the only pro to the perk as we know, as outside of that, it's pretty much limited. 
Now this isn't the end to the perk at all. In fact, just like the flash and concussion rounds issue, it just needs a simple change to how it works. And the best way to go around this is to increase the blast radius of the sticky grenades to around 5 or 3 meters and then add a tripwire line to it so that I can indicate the length to trigger it. Just like the trip my nades for the hunters, this simple setup would be useful in PvP for setting up no-go zones, and when used in a small area with not much movement space, you'll be sure to net a wide number of kills with it. It would also be very similar to how the RNT works, a set that would be more instant and easier to catch people off with. Now the perk would become viable for PvP, but it doesn't fix its usage in PvE at all. So what if we added a special effect to it, or better off a debuff? Something like the Fallen Spider Mine effect to where triggering it would slow all occupants within it and kill those with low health in the blast. This will be useful in both PvE and PvP and it isn't OP in design as it can be easily avoided and to provide a downside to use them, they could have a reduced duration overall. Going the increased damage area is also viable but it would need to be either higher than the spike grenade perk or at least near to some degree so that I can one-shot anyone who comes near it, if we're going to keep everything else the same. Of course, Bungie may have a better idea around this in general as to how to improve the perk, but those simple changes there would make them useful in certain scenarios. The issue here is that the change to them needs to be not only noticeable, but also impactful, so that players would pick them up and use them the same way they would use a spike, a flash, and concussion rounds. What Bungie needs to do is pretty much enhance the current perk to do more than what it currently does, and they can do the following examples as shown, or they could put their own take on it. But overall, the perk really needs some sort of love, as, as of now, many players will avoid this perk for something more practical. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff. Link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, I'll see you on the next one.